Hey, 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 it's What's Cooking, and we have all that beautiful fresh fish. Phil Fredrickson, where did you get that fish from yesterday? Uh, we got it from Chula, Chula the Seafoods. Chula, Chula Seafoods. Seafoods. And they're located? Down at Point Loma. Cool, cool, cool. So yesterday we had this crazy sashimi stuff, and tonight um, we are also having a little of the salmon. What kind of salmon is it? It is New Zealand salmon. Okay. So I've got Super jalapenos fresh. and oranges on there, and we're going to have it with some ponzu. But the other salmon I have over here. Okay. So I seared it um, skin side up in olive oil, butter, and garlic. And now I'm going to take it out of this pan and let it rest. And I'm going to add to this pan. We're making a butter. Um, Tuscan salmon sauce. Ooh, it's so good. So I've got garlic in here. I'm gonna add garlic. The kind that I love from Trader Joe's, the frozen one, the green little um, stem in it, so it does not give you indigestion and it technically doesn't give you bad breath. So it's really, really good stuff. Um, okay, so this is gonna do its thing. And to that, I'm gonna add more butter. Okay. Our friends Kurt and Jerry made this for us for dinner, um, gosh, last year. And it was so, so, so good that uh, with all that good salmon, I thought I'd make it again. So we're going to get that going. A little bit. You know what? What the heck? Just throw all that butter in there, right? There's never enough butter. Okay, let that go a few seconds. What else is going on, Philip? What did you do today? Uh, I delivered some Popeyes um, and so far that's about it. Okay. Delivered a bunch of Popeyes. I worked on five quarter. Five quarter. Okay, I worked on a um, home buying seminar that we're going to do next Thursday at 3.30 with Deja. Um, so that should be cool and fun to do. I think it's 3.30, it might be 3. But, all right, so to this bubbling butter garlic sauce, I've got lots of little um, halved tomatoes. So we're gonna throw that in, and we're gonna let those tomatoes saute till they pop. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to add some pepper, strictly pepper, throw it in here. Has the chicken chews been out yet today, Philip? No, not by my hand. No? No. You mad at them? Yeah, I'm a little frustrated with them right now. <laughs> Phil, Phil is mad at the chickens. That's funny. So Gabriel, who is our chicken sitter from um, Hawthorne Feed, he called today. Super cool kid, drives an orange um, VW old school bus that says Gabe 88 on it. So like, <laughs> couldn't love him more if he was my own kid. He just called to check to see if we were gonna be going anywhere soon because he knows you know, that people are starting to book um, trips and things. And if so, he wants to make sure that, whoopsie, we're first in line for, oh, I hate doing this. First in line for um, chicken sitting. Okay, this is weird. The pit is actually stuck. It's kind of cracking. Yeah, well, sometimes gonna, they do that. Well, I'm not going to mess around and have, you know, one of the gals from the Scripps Advisory Board, um, she was doing this and it went right through her hand and she sliced like she had to have surgery. So it's super, super imperative that you do not cut yourself. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna I think that's it. always imperative. Yeah. Never cut yourself. I'm getting a spoon <laughs> to get this bad boy out. Way safer to do it's it that normal, way. Normal, normal way didn't work very well today. Nope. And these avocados were expensive. You said they were two dollars yeah. each. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. So the avocado. And they're tiny. They're Philip and I are gonna have like a little snack. If, yeah. If anybody has avocados growing, please let us know. I wish we had an avocado tree. We still could. Yeah, we could. Supposedly, you're supposed to plant two. Right on the bank. 
They're supposed to be like um, in pairs. Male and female? I don't know. Like our, you know, the pomegranate trees, they're supposed to be twos. They grow better. Ooh, that's just a slattered mess. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Oh well. Hey, it'll taste good, right? So, that is going to go on the, on the uh, sashimi. And then over here, let's see how these tomatoes are doing. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious in here. So we're gonna let those cook for a little bit longer. Um, and I'm gonna throw a little twist in the mix. Would you do me a favor, babe? Yeah. Would you go grab a can of um, diced tomatoes for me? I'm gonna add more tomatoes because we only had one little container and I like a lot of sauce and it was... I know, I didn't think of it. So he's gonna... Get me that. See, we just improvise, right? You just have to use what you Can have. Can we open this for you? That would be awesome. Um, it's a, oh, it is. I thought it was one of those pull tops. Got our little escrow going. We have a new listing tomorrow on Shalar. Megan and, yeah, Megan and Kim, uh, Megan and um, John Kim, can't wait to get their property marketed. And, this over here? Um, yes, please. I really killed that, um, <laughs> like seriously killed that avocado. All right. Um, what else is going on? Anything else that we know about that we cut up? I have homemade coconut um, iced tea. Still crazy low interest rates. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. It's a great seller's market, but also a great buyer's market because there's not as many buyers right now, even though there's a lot, and interest rates are so low. Okay. So I'm going to also dice up some fresh basil from the garden with my cool knife and I don't cut anywhere as near anywhere near as good as everybody who is in the culinary world I just kind of fake it till I make it and just hope I don't cut my hands while I'm doing it Ooh, I'm digging this knife though very cool it's a rocker for it. it is a rocker I like it thank you thank you Eric the knife guy I'm so stoked oh um, on Sunday, they're going to do a second performance of Queer Eye for a Straight Guy, The Old Gang, and The New Gang on um, Family Feud Celebrity Edition. So if anybody wants to watch it, it's on ABC on Sunday. And our friend Jay Rodriguez will be there. All right, once this little tomato gizmo gets going, and... giving some to our neighbor Dan and we're giving some to our other neighbor and um, I don't know his spice tolerance but I know Jan's is not super intense so we can add more crushed red pepper after the fact but we'll add a little bit for flavor right all right I wish you guys could smell this honey doesn't it smell good mm -hmm. all right so that's gonna cook down a little bit and then we're gonna add fresh spinach and the fresh spinach is gonna cook down. And then we're gonna stir in Parmesan cheese and get it really creamy and gooey. And then we're gonna sprinkle it, um, we'll add the, sh the, the salmon back in and then we'll sprinkle it with a little bit of basil. Where'd you get this recipe? Um, Kurt and Jerry made it for us last year when we were at their house that Michael Borelli um, designed their kitchen, which is the most gorgeous, well, lots of stuff in their house, but. They're, they've got this spectacular kitchen, and I think we were like the first guest to get to break in the kitchen, so that was pretty fun. I miss those days, you know, going over to a friend's house, having parties, hanging out with people, you know? They're coming back. I hope. Yeah, they are. I hope. I know, that, I know that downtown um, people definitely broke the rules last Friday night but then they were awesome on Saturday and Sunday. I know, they almost put us in detention camp. No, 
you know, they, they have that seven events in seven days thing. We only hit two. Okay. So, and now we're start over a new seven. So it's, right. it, everybody's good here in San Diego. All right. We well, have a few little but they seem to learn fast. Cool, cool. Now look, we have all of this. This is yellow fin? Uh, yes, this is yellow, yellow fin, fin now. Uh -huh. All right, so this whole bag of yellow fin that um, we have to eat, and we have to eat it soon. So I think I'm going to slice a little bit of that up, sure. too, for us. Yeah. As a little um, then you won't be hungry for the butter. The I butter know. is gonna <laughs> gotta eat the butter. The Tuscan butter. But that keeps. Then we can we can eat that again tomorrow. Correct. Yeah. Because that will be cooked. Yeah. Oh, the raw stuff. You know the raw stuff. We have to get it rocking and rolling. Uh, I'm trying to see who's on here. Um, to say hi. Hey, Paolo. How are you? How is everything going um, at Del Mar Heights in the restaurant? Give us a little uh, update on how things are going and are you guys busy? I know you're doing excellent physical distancing and keeping everybody safe. Um, just, you know, checking in to see how you're doing. I miss you, we haven't been over there in a while. Hi Mike Mitchell, how are you? I wish that I could cook as well as you guys, you and Robin, I know that you guys are killing it. Um, and I'm hoping to get reservations at Urban Wood. We should go together on opening night, I think it's, Oh gosh, is it this Thursday? Ooh, well, or is yeah. it? It might uh -huh. be next week. Yeah, yeah I, think I think it's think a week from Thursday, to, right? Uh, wrench. Right. Thursday. We're going to Wrench and Road at this Thursday, right? To physically distance. We even have another group coming, and they're sitting at another table, so we can like yell to each other and wave to each other. Kind of fun. Um, all right. So this is, I think, ready for me to add um, the cream. Cream. Forgot about that ingredient, you guys. Thank God it's sitting on the kitchen counter. This whole entire carton of cream is going in this tomato butter garlic sauce now. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The more fat, the better. Fat, butter, olive oil. Okay, now it's looking really pretty. Now I'm going to just let this cook down for a little bit. Show. I gotta get this one thing. So, this is hilarious. So, Philip is like. Is that your new grass skirt? Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> Philip is like, what the heck is this thing? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's basically a new thing for the chicken coop because we're worried about how the mean girls are treating little Lucy, uh, little uh, Ricky Roo. So basically you hang that in the coop and then they just pick at it and play with it as a little distraction. That's more now is your grass skirt. I know, right? <laughs> so he's like, I don't know what you're ordering from Amazon, but whatever the heck it is, it's pretty I crazy. I never know what you're ordering from Amazon. Too funny. So anyway, um, Mike Mitchell, let's make a plan to go um, down to Urban Wood together. And uh, We'll sit at one table and you guys sit at another table and we can just yell to each other. I'm, I like being like the obnoxious one in the restaurant, politely obnoxious. Koala's candle, smells delicious, homemade candles. All right, what else we got going? Uh, we got Father's Day coming up on Sunday. Oh, we do. We sure do. I wonder what the chickens are going to get for you. I have no <laughs> idea. And I wonder what we're going to do. Maybe an egg for a change? I, I know. They've been slow laying their eggs. Slackers. Mm -hmm. I went out there this morning and I told them they're not earning their keep. I was inside the coop and I was hanging like this new treat. And they were so afraid of it. The three mean girls went up into the nesting box. And Fred, there's a ramp. And Fred, you know, chicken's feet are ugly. And Fred comes, comes down the ramp and like slides and comes sliding down. It was hilarious. Because anytime you introduce something new to them, they're always First like. Mean girls are, they're, they're afraid. Like, they're but the afraid. one being picked on isn't afraid at all. Yeah, little Ricky, she's like, screw you guys. You go hide in the nesting box like little wimplets and I'll go. It could be good food, but I'm going to eat it all. Right? 
Exactly. Okay, how we do, ooh, this is bubbling. It's getting thick. Oh, it looks so good. Good day in the stock market today, up over 2%. Nice. And been cool. retail sales went up 17.7% from last month for this, the largest increase in history. That's because everybody had to go out and buy pants, <laughs> right? Yeah. Nobody was wearing pants for the last month. Well, the shocking thing is, I guess, you know, people weren't out buying as much stuff, except groceries, apparently. Well, yes, most of the stores, you couldn't. So. Right. But on wine sales, I would have thought, you know, they would have kept it all up. Throwing a little cheese in. Now we're going to get that stirring. I went to my hair salon today, Lux Beauty Bar. It's located on San Diego Road. And I am telling you, they have done a genius job. They literally redid the whole salon while we were in lockdown. And uh, they had half walls built that move. So in between, and they're operating at 25% capacity seven days a week. So they're really doing a great job. Um, the whole team, you know, you get your temperature taken. They have a little basket with fresh masks. You go in, you know, it's, we all wear masks for <laughs> the whole entire time. But very, very good job. I saw Jenny Craig there. Jenny Craig is the whole reason I'm in San Diego. She's like the, the person that recruited me here. All right, I'm putting more cheese in because, oh, you know what? Would you do me a favor? And in the garage or fridge, would you get me some cream cheese, the big container? I'm gonna add cream cheese to this one. Yep. All right, another big handful. I'm going to just turn it down a little bit. That's good to hear that retail sales went up that high. That's huge, isn't it? Like ginormous amount. And our numbers are staying really good here in San Diego County. It's um, a couple other counties in San, um, California that are not doing as well. Ooh, Philip, this is looking so good. See, even if there's a recipe, I do not abide by it. I just sort of go with the flow. So I'm just going to let that kind of melt in there and get it nice and creamy. And then once that is done, I'll add the spinach, add the fish back in. And uh, before we serve it, we'll uh, add the chopped basil. So that's what's cooking here. Um, let me see. I see Tracy and Sandy. Hi, you guys. Um, they're from my school and my hometown, which is pretty awesome. Our class maintains to this day such a deep connection from the small town of Conneaut, Ohio. And I just think it's so cool that we all remain friends. We all um, have class reunions every single time we possibly can. Every time I go back home, I try to have one, even if it's, you know, in between the five year. Um, and we're only at our like 25th reunion, which is super cool because that keeps me at 39, right? Keeps everybody young. That's what we do. Just psychologically keep everybody young. Did you graduate when you were 14? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, there I you did. go. Yep, yep. Totally did. Skipped a few grades, did I you? I did. Yep. So anyway, I'm going to... Um, just stir this one more time and then I'll hang up so you guys can go do your thing and I can finish this. But I don't know if you can see over here, but it's looking really, really ooey gooey yummy. Super, super good. I don't want to add the spinach too, um, too soon because you just want to keep that just barely wilted. I haven't put any salt in it. I never salt. Well, you have the tough taste. Yeah, you? I don't typically do that. Either. Better salt after. I'm not a big 
Um, sulfur, and I definitely typically don't taste my food. Oh, don't violate the rule then. <laughs> I know, but I don't want it to be super bland. Salt. Ooh, it's spicy. Thanks. What, what is that? Your coconut milk? You're supposed to drink if the food's too spicy? Mm -hmm. What is it that you retain it down? Oh, um, yogurt or something like that. I mean, it's not that spicy, and once it gets settled with the spinach and stuff, it'll... We'll take a little uh, dish of plain yogurt over to Jan, Jan in case <laughs> it's too spicy for her. All right, everybody stay physically distant while staying socially connected. Get out and support small businesses. Um, wear your mask. Jay Rodriguez, I was just telling everybody that you're um, going to be on um, Celebrity Family Feud on ABC on Sunday night. It's the original crew, not the old crew, the original crew with the new crew. And... Uh, I think that they're re-filming this or um, replaying this because it's Pride Month, which is awesome. Supreme Court did some good work yesterday, which is super cool and awesome. So if anybody wants to tune in, Jay is a great friend of ours. He goes live typically at five o'clock. Um, and tomorrow night he's gonna be singing. We're gonna be at French and Rodent, so we're gonna miss him. But he, hopefully he's gonna sing Matchbox 20, or. Yeah, Matchbox 20's Hand Me Down, which I think are really pertinent, good lyrics uh, for the times that we are all going through. So, uh, good stuff. Jay, I see you. The kitchen's open, I know. I know, you should be here. I'm making Tuscan butter salmon craziness, and I've got salmon sashimi with oranges, jalapenos, spring onions, avocado, Kind of a mess it doesn't look very pretty but we're going to use some uzu sauce uzo sauce let me see here let me get a look this stuff uzu uzu it's like um, a lemon premium soy dressing with uzu citrus yeah it's huh. just a different than ponzu yeah it's similar but different okay i know our little Pantry area is getting I, filled with every, stuff that's sushi. I go to the Asian section every single time at a grocery store. It's like now. all of our Japanese good <laughs> stuff we need to figure out where to put. Hey, Mercedes, how are you? Um, so Jay, um, tell them about your show. Right, type it in the into the chat about what you're going to be doing on Thursday night and how they can find you and follow you. Remember, our musicians and our actors are not making any money right now. So if you can and are working, it's always great, great to Venmo or pay, uh, PayPal, um, our musicians and our actors, if you can, um, some money to help them out. Many of them have yet to get any type of reimbursement from the government, so, you know, they're struggling. It's, it's not um, what you think in, in that arena as far as like just keeping millions of dollars coming into your bank account. That's not the way it works in most cases, right? Some of the, well, yeah. some of them, yeah. Yeah, some do, you know, but you Some need to send me money to George Clooney, I'm pretty sure. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. George doesn't need the money. But um, definitely pull, you know, think about our more local and uh, people who are entertaining us because that's what they do. They, yeah. they sing from their living room, they sing from their kitchen. It's pretty awesome, I'm really happy to see that Jay is doing that. And we'll probably share his link um, when he starts in a, in a little bit. Yeah. So in the meantime, again, physically distant, socially connected, wear your mask, don't be selfish, okay? Love y'all.